morning. This is Gary from Mars Engineering. I want to point out a few things before we start putting the adapter plate on the engine. There's some flashing that's on the engine that has to be cut down. There's one spot here and one spot over here. It has to be cut below the back of the engine so that the adapter plate fits on flush. So you just have to cut them off with either a die grinder or a, a, a saw, anything to cut it off a little bit below the surface of the back of the engine. That's what I want to point out before we start putting the adapter plate in the flywheel and everything else on. Good afternoon, this is Gary from Mars Engineering. Today, we're going to show you putting the motor mounts on the engine. We're only going to put one on because we have an adapter on the right side of the engine that puts it on the engine stand. We showed you another video of that before. And we're going to put the adapter on the engine, the crankshaft extension, and the bracket for the starter. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to put the driver side motor mount on. So what I'll do is I'll get that all set up, get the right socket for that, and we'll get that. Okay. So we're going to put the starter on, the, the motor mount bracket. Well, you'll see with this motor mount bracket, we make it so that it fits perfectly on the side of the engine. We, we gusset it so it's strong, and then we put the, there's a little hole here that allows to line up the motor mount itself on the bracket. You tighten that up to the specs that are, you know, Mazda says. And now, we'll put this on the side of the engine, Do everything by hand first. As you can see, that was starting to to cross, and you don't want to cross thread aluminum. All the specs for the torque will be in the manual. I just want to show you over here how tight the clearance is, how it fits close to the block. So the design of the motor mount is very close to the block. The, on the original Mazda, we had a cover that went over a plate, a kind of a little box that went over the motor mount. I don't know what it was for. It might have been for heat. I don't know. But we can't use that because you can see how close this is to the engine. We weren't able to bring that closer, closer to the engine to use that. But it's not necessary. I don't know why they had it in the first place, but it's okay. So now the next step we're going to do is put the adapter plate on. The adapter plate, as you can see it, has our name on it, Oz Engineering. We're gonna, we're gonna put it on the dowel pins of the engine. We have two dowel pins. total of six bolts that hold this adapter on. If we want to go from the transmission side, And two that go from 
the engine side. The other one is a little tricky because it's, be it's right, it's behind here. You can get it. I'm not going to tighten it up. You're just going to use a universal joint with a socket with a socket on it, and that'll take care of that. Next step we're going to do is put the crankshaft extension on. This extension is necessary because Honda doesn't have a starter. It doesn't doesn't have a, a starter on the engine, so we have to have a crankshaft extension. You'll see where the bracket goes. Now we're gonna put this on here and the flywheel. This flywheel is from a B18. We have a total of eight bolts on this, and there'll be a sequence of, of bolting it up. It's a three three torque sequence, and the final torque rating is. 76 foot pounds. All this, all the specs for the torque are in the manual and a sequence of the torque. The socket for these, the socket for this is 18 millimeter. I'm just going to tighten them up with the, in fact, just to, just to tighten it up. So now, once we have this on, we can put the starter bracket on. As you can see, the starter bracket has clearance for the starter gear. We put that on. on with Allen bolts, Allen screws. There's two Allen screws that hold this in, in place. You'll see there's a slight taper on the head. There's a slight taper on the head because on the one that's closest to the teeth on a flywheel, I had to have a, a slight taper to clear the teeth on a flywheel. You'll have all, all talk ratings for that. Now I'm going to show you Let me get the right size socket for this. Okay. There's, there's dowel pins, there's dowel pins on the starter that line up.
What I like to do is check the clearance on the starter feet here. And by the way of doing that, we can, we can be sure we don't want to have a problem later on on the engagement. You'll be able to see here, what we do is we push, push this, it's not going in. So we can just use a screwdriver, turn the flywheel, and make sure it engages properly. We don't want it to be too far away or too close. You can see here, you have a good, a good engagement. In the event, in the event that, in the event that the teeth are too close, you don't want the teeth going to the bottom. You don't want the two teeth to bottom out. You don't want them to bottom out. You want them to have some clearance in there. Just the way it is there. In the event that the, this is a little bit too close, Honda does sell a shim, a 10,000 shim that you could put behind the, the starter, between the starter and the bracket in order to make it come further away. So just want to let you know that. But always check before you put it in the car. It's just a good idea. You don't want to put it in and all of a sudden the start is too close, if something's jammed up, you don't want that problem. It's an easy, it's an easy thing to do beforehand, because you're putting everything together. So that is just about the end of this video. We've got the flywheel on, we've got the adapter plate on, everything will be talked up. We've got one motor mount, you got to put the other one on. When you put the engine on the engine stand, off the engine stand, and onto the hoist then you can put the other motor mount on then you're ready to put it in the car then you're ready to put it in the car you can put when you put it in the car you'll you won't have the starter on you can have the bracket on with the bell housing everything together but the starter you're going to have problem clearing it because this goes into the passenger side foot well just it comes in about two inches two and a half inches so and that should do it on this video. The next video we're going to do is going to put this, the, the fly that we're going to put the throw up bearing and the clutch on, show you how to measure everything up so that you can get make it easy for you. That's all. All right, that's it for this one. See you on the next one.